So here we are in the Exchange Management Console and we're looking at the Organization Configuration Work Center. We have the Mailbox node selected and here we see a variety of different tabs. One of them is called Address Lists. And on that Address List tab you can see the default address lists that are automatically created for your users. All contacts, all groups, all rooms, all users, default global address list, and public folders. Now if you wish to create your own address list, you can use the wizard right here on the right hand side, New Address List. We click that, and we see the New Address List wizard begins. We are going to give it a name, and let's say we call this Our Address List. We'll leave it in the default container. We could browse, and we could make it a sub-address list of any of these other address lists if we like. For now we'll leave it at the root. Now as far as the recipient types, we can choose none, all recipient types, and the following specific types, and we can choose the specific types of recipients that we want to include. We'll leave it at all recipient types for now, and we'll click next. And we're taken to the condition screen. In this case, you can see how, depending on the condition, how it's met, similar to dynamic distribution groups that you might remember from a previous lesson. And what will happen is the address list will be populated depending on the attributes that are met. So if you recall in a previous lesson, we used custom attribute one, and we specified that it was to be for team leaders. So if we continue to use that same line of thought, now when we click preview, we already have one member of this address list, and that's user two, because he's a team leader. And now certainly if we added that attribute to all team leaders, they would all be included within this address list. So it could be very easy for individuals to find the user that they're looking for if they know that they're a team leader. They can just look in the address list that has team leaders. So if we say OK, obviously there's other things we can do to set conditions, but this is just an example. It shows you how this works. And we'll click Next. Now here we can schedule when the address list should be applied. And so you may not want the address list to be applied immediately. You may want to have a scheduled time for that address list to be applied. But in this case, we'll leave it as immediately, and we'll click Next. And so we can review the address list summary. We look at what we've created here. It looks great to me. We'll click New. And there's our new address list, and it's been applied as well. So now you can see right away it updated the address list that we have. So here's the address list that we created. If we go back to the mailbox and we click to, if we click show other address lists and we scroll down, here's our address list. There's user two. It populates the recipients. We say OK. And you see how much easier it is if you have address lists that narrow down the choices that it can really help with a global address list that's getting out of control for an exchange administrator to create these address lists that narrow down the options. This could be a real time saver for your users. So I hope you found that informative and I'll see you in the next lesson.